here. This is where the prosecutor Samasama was shot from and was trying to enter this particular restaurant to have a meal when he was shot. So he dropped uh, right here and the people were surprised to see him on the ground and the blood started coming out of uh, you know, uh, his chest because he was shot uh, right straight uh, in the chest. And uh, it is alleged that uh, the same bullet went uh, through uh, this window that you're able to see from here. And uh, another person who's Joseph Kaunda was allegedly shot from uh, the far end. So. Uh, in the analysis that is being given, it's like the same bullet entered uh, the prosecutor from this end and uh, went through to, to hit uh, the other gentleman that was uh, outside this particular restaurant. So he fell uh, just on the road in between the restaurant and uh, the National Prosecution's Authority uh, premises. It's just about 15 minutes, uh, 15 meters away from uh, the Minister of Home Affairs and also about 25 meters away from uh, the National Prosecution's Authority. So let's try to figure out this one. If Isamasama was shot from here, where did this bullet come from? Should we conclude to say it was a stray bullet? Okay, on the other hand, after the, gen the gentleman was shot, there is no uh, perforation. There is nowhere where the bullet is showing that it landed here. So it simply means that uh, perhaps it landed and uh, stationed itself in uh, the gentleman out there in the head. So let's try to look at the angle where this bullet probably might have come from. So when you look behind my back, this side, you find that uh, there is uh, the iron fence for the Ministry of uh, Home Affairs. And uh, right after the Ministry of Home Affairs, about 100 meters from where I am standing, you will find that uh, that's uh, where the cabinet office is. So from uh, here where I am standing, right to police force headquarters, it's about 500 meters apart. Now let's look at where did this person that fired the arm was. The possibility of uh, the person that fired that particular gun would have been straight from uh, this end and uh, we cannot tell exactly where he was stationed, but uh, it simply tells that uh, it was uh, uh, from uh, this uh, direction. After the roundabout, that's why you find that uh, police had parked their vehicles. A number of uh, police vehicles were parked that side, and uh, few cadres for the United Party for National Development, UPND, were scampering, running up and down after they were dispersed. Of course, the question is, if these cadres were running away from the police, why did the police fire a live ammunition? It came through this angle, and Samansama was standing right there trying to enter into the restaurant, and there were other people who stood and sat in this other area while they were enjoying their meal. So now, which reasonable or sane police officer would definitely fire from this angle just to come and uh, disperse cadres who are not at this particular place? But now there are other theories that states that perhaps there was a sniper that was stationed somewhere to kill uh, this particular prosecutor. And there are assumptions that the prosecutor probably was dealing with some cases that uh, had to do with uh, the United Party for National Development, uh, President Hakainde Hichlema. But uh, with the investigations that uh, we've uh, carried, Samansama was not handling any case that has to do with uh, UPND President Hakainde Hichlema. So if there was intentions, then what intentions were there for this particular prosecutor to be killed? Obviously, the second gentleman uh, Joseph Kunda, who was shot behind there, it can be concluded that uh, for him, yes, it was just uh, uh, perhaps an accident. He just found himself in this particular bullet because it first entered in Samansama and went through uh, to the head of uh, Joseph Kaunda. This is uh, the spot where Joseph Kaunda died from. Uh, Joseph is the one that is said to have uh, been a UPND uh, sympathizer. Now, let's look at how he fell. Eyewitnesses have said that he was running coming from the Independence Avenue right here. And if you see the road, the Independence Avenue is just about uh, uh, probably this is 10 meters 
from where I am standing and he came running from this direction and uh, met his fate from uh, right here where I'm standing. Samasama died right inside the Lafay restaurant there. The bullet hit him in the chest, went straight to hit Joseph right here on the road. Now the question is, how is it possible that the same bullet hit the prosecutor on the other hand and also had to hit this person who was running coming right here trying to probably uh, go uh, wherever he was running to it was not established uh, where he was running to but what is there is that uh, he was running away from uh, the tear gas casters that were you know, fired all over this place so the prosecutors in this uh, premises which is uh, the national prosecutions authority uh, premises uh, they testified that uh, tear gas canisters were fired even inside their premises so now if tear gases if tear gas canisters were fired inside national prosecutions authority uh, premises then uh, it's also possible that uh, the police may have fired the same gun a live bullet to hit the gentleman inside the La Fe, uh, restaurant and uh, possibly hitting uh, the person who was running from the outskirts here. But uh, the issue to do with uh, perforation, when you look at uh, the iron fence here, there is no sign of a bullet you know, hitting this particular side, which simply means that uh, the, the bullet probably might have landed in uh, Joseph's head and it might have been in uh, Joseph's head. Uh, we wait to see uh, the results from the police, if at all that bullet still remains in, in the head. Now, when you stand at this position where I am standing, you definitely have two hypotheses or two uh, theories that will tell you that it's either this gentleman who was coming, uh, who ran into uh, this road and uh, who was hit on the head right here, the bullet might have come from this direction as well. Maybe there's a possibility of another bullet being fired from this angle to hit the head of uh, this UPND uh, sympathizer. So it's possible that uh, maybe police had fired at random, you know, live ammunition and uh, a stray bullet had to hit the prosecutor right in the restaurant and another bullet hitting uh, this UPND uh, party member who died right on the road. However, we cannot conclude to say it was only one bullet that was, uh, you know, fired at uh, these two people or one bullet uh, killed uh, these uh, two uh, Zambian citizens. The question that many Zambians have today is why did police fire live ammunition? When you look at this situation, no sane police officer would definitely fire live ammunition to other people that are enjoying their meal at a restaurant. So. It can still not be concluded as to whether it was a police officer that fired, you know, to kill this particular prosecutor and also uh, the UPND sympathizer right here. But again, the question that comes in is why did police target these premises where cutters were very few when everything else was happening right at the Supreme uh, Court grounds? Because when you talk about this place to Police force headquarters is about 500 meters, but from police force headquarters to the Supreme Ground is just about uh, 30 meters away. And uh, at that particular place, a lot of cutters were there, you know, singing praises, showing solidarity to the UPND president. But yet, police never fired any live ammunition to disperse the crowd that was there. Now, this situation has saddened almost every Zambian, and Zambia as a nation is mourning. The Republican president, Dr. Edgar Chagwalungu, being the father of this nation, is equally saddened and has released a statement where he has also directed the IG to make sure that investigations are concluded by Monday so that uh, the firearm that was used is disclosed and that uh, justice is also uh, done in this matter. The president has actually asked for the forensic results to ensure that uh, you know, justice has been brought to the forum. Welsh funder, S24 News.